Hey guys, this is Melody, and today we're doing F is for Ferret, another watercolor animal. For the flowers in this one, I had a little bit of trouble finding ones, but I ended up going with Foxglove and Freesias. The one that I'm drawing right now is the Foxglove. It's a really pretty pink flower, and the Freesias I saw in some purple shades. I figured purple and pink go kind of well together, so that's how I decided on those guys. The ferret initially I had a lot of problems with on the face. I don't know what I was doing, it just looked really boxy and weird and I don't think I completely got rid of that. But uh, you kind of missed that first part of that. My camera was being weird, it only filmed the first two seconds. So you just see the face that we ended up with, which I guess is fine. Um, but yeah, it, it looked odd. While I can continue sketching, um, there is a Labor Day sale on my Etsy shop right now. It starts today, um, well the day that I'm filming it, it's Monday the 3rd right now and it goes through Friday the 7th. So if there's anything that you guys like over there, this is a great time to buy it. It's 20% off your entire purchase, there's no minimum um, total that you need to reach, there's no minimum item. So this is a great time to go buy anything if there's something you've been checking out for a while now.
At this point in the piece, I was really being reminded of spring. To me, the flowers looked a lot like um, cherry blossoms at the university I went to. Obviously, they change when I start adding more color and the details, but I really, really liked the way that the pink was around the ferret. I think it ties in well because there is a little bit of pink in the ferret, not only because I used a red pencil for the original sketches and so it sort of has that tone, but also because uh, it has the pink in the ears and the nose and the mouth. And so I think it really just pulls it together well. And then later, or now I guess, when I start putting the purple in, um, Obviously purple has a little bit of red in it, it's a combination of red and blue, and so the purple again pulls in really well with it. And so I really was enjoying the color scheme of this piece. I've not done anything that's with lots of pinks or purples before, I don't think. So it was something kind of new to me, but I think it's something I might play with more because I really do enjoy it. So it does make me sad because fall is soon and it'll start raining and I'll probably start doing more reds and browns and more fall colors because a lot of times the weather and the season does affect the drawings that I'm doing. Um, I'm just in that mindset of it's cold and these are the things I should be drawing even though it's not necessarily always the case. There's really not a whole lot to tell you guys about this painting. Um, for these flowers that I'm working on with the purple, I did apply a lot of pigment towards the ends of them and then watered it out towards the bottom so it got a little bit lighter. Um, and then, of course, the, some greenery. And the very bottom parts of the purple flowers, there's a little bit of yellow, which is a nice complementary color. Um, but really about this piece is not a whole lot to say. However, there is a readathon coming up. It's um, the A Yearathon, and I'm considering doing a vlog. It's not something I've done on my channel before. I don't know that I'm completely comfortable doing a vlog, but maybe I'll try it. Um, chances are I'll film some stuff, but I don't know if I'll post it. It also depends if I even have time for it. Um, let me know if you guys like to read or if you guys are doing any fun readathons coming up because I try to participate in some here and there. Uh, I don't do too many though, it just depends if I have time. This one, there's two goals and I think you're supposed to read short stories or own voice novels. So I might try to read The Hate You Give because the movie is coming out in October. Um, as far as short stories, I don't know if I'll read anything. The problem is I do have books that I've pre-ordered that are coming out very, very soon. One I will be getting uh, Tuesday tomorrow so I might get a little distracted so stay tuned if you would like to see a reading vlog um, it may or may not happen if it does happen it might be really short because I do work full-time so it's not like I have all day to read every day but we'll see what happens and if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram especially on Twitter you'll probably see updates on there so stay posted
Well, that's about it for this piece. Um, just a reminder, there's 20% off everything in my Etsy shop. Please subscribe, comment, and let me know if you'd be interested in seeing the reading vlog or if you have any good video ideas. Um, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.